Welcome back to part two. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing uh, the other five things that I'm going to be focusing on in terms of input for this year. Um, it's so easy to be busy, to be doing all of the things, pulled in all the different directions. And I'm really interested in essentially making my time, effort, energy, uh, money work for me. You know, to use a corporate fra phrase of what is the ROI on this, um, I'm, I'm really interested. Like, I don't just want to, again, just sit at my desk for all of the hours and then hope for the best. I actually don't think that you need to work every hour of every day to get what it is that you want. And I slightly know this from sometimes doing some corporate work. There's a lot of people faffing about. There's a lot of people putting meetings in for the sake of meetings and it's just not necessary. It's just not necessary. So let's move on back to my experience, uh, not to call anybody out, but uh, back to my experience. So number six for me is all about clarity. And I'm going to be really firm on this in terms of myself. And this is about asking better questions, getting clearer answers, and perhaps being a little bit more direct with myself. So making sure that I am essentially doing things once really well, so I don't have to do them again. And this is me thinking about systems, it's about templates, it's about looking at the way that I email people and making sure that I'm to the point, that I'm purposeful, um, that my customer has what they need, my clients do. And I can really start to add a few um, structures in place, I guess. Also, one, and I'll go into this in another video, one of the biggest pieces of feedback, and this is not, like, it's not necessarily feedback, but it's like the thing that people were struggling with a lot last year. The amount of clients who came to me and started working with me, and one of the most popular, I guess, openers was, I don't know where to start, and I don't know what I need. And going into this year of 2024, I've got that at the back of my mind of saying, okay, how can I really support these people who don't know where to start and don't know what they need? What do I need to do in that moment, in this sales page, in this piece of content? What do I need to do to bring that clarity, that reassurance to this process? And when I begin to look at this input, again, it makes me question how I'm using my time. So if I'm going, oh, I'm just writing this thing because it popped into my idea, me going back to my clear vision, I'm like, but is this going to get me there? And if it isn't, no, move it to the side, move it to the side. Number seven, starting before I'm ready. I, through a lot of the work that I did on myself in 2023, inner child work, I read a really amazing book called The Kindness Method, and I highly recommend it. Um, it's wonderful. Um, and in that book, there's a lot of um, compassion building to your younger self. And a year that really sticks in my mind is being seven. And at seven years old, it was my lucky number. I was so delighted to be seven. I remember it so, so clearly. And that seven-year-old was right bang in the middle of like moving into junior school and really understanding who I was and what I liked. And I just really enjoyed life. And I was very ambitious and I put my hand up and I got stuck in and I had a go all before I knew if I could or all of it was imperfect and so this year with my input I am 
channeling that inner seven-year-old and saying, well, let's have a go. Let's see if this works. Let's play. Let's sign up for that course. Let's choose something different to cook for dinner, whatever it might be. But really starting before I'm ready, like Marie Forleo says, if you've read that book, Everything's Figure Outable, um, I think we can wait. We can wait so often and we can put all of these things, all of these restrictions on ourselves. And I'm not obviously gonna like volunteer to do open heart surgery on somebody because I'm definitely not qualified for that. But there are things in my business that I can try and start now and have a go. So I'm going to do that. You know I'm serious when I've got a page too. Okay, number eight, consistency and not sporadic intensity. If you've been following me on Instagram, you will know that I am on a running challenge. I started 46 days ago. I run for a minimum of 15 minutes every single day. Uh, Often, I would say 50% of the time, it's uh, 15 minutes and that's all I can do and I'm very happy with that. And the other 50% of the time, I manage to do a little bit more. And sometimes that's like 90 seconds more because I've just got, you know, I can go an extra thing up and down the street and I've got time for that. But generally, I've noticed it's been that 15 minutes. That consistency of daily action has changed my life. And I am not coming to this running game brand new. I've run a half marathon. Uh, running has been in my life for maybe 15 years. Um, again, sporadically. There have been times where I've been so into it, so focused, uh, really racking up some miles. And then I've fallen out of love for it with it for a little bit. Or I've got really busy. So I was only doing like one long run once a fortnight. Now, in terms of what I want running to do for me, I am better when I do it daily. It has been incredible. Knowing that I have 15 minutes every single day for myself with my thoughts, and I've even stopped um, running with music or podcasts. I literally just think about things, look around, notice stuff, process stuff. It's been incredible. But this is what I'm going to be applying in terms of my business as well. In terms of my input, I am going for consistency, not sporadic intensity. So the way that I am delivering my business model, um, it's about showing up every single day, giving free content, marketing my services. And I'm not going to be doing these big launches that so many coaches do. I don't want to have a big team of staff. I also want to do these things in a way where I can do them regularly. I can show up and then I don't feel completely burnt out and like full of uh, self-doubt or whatever it might be. I am looking at applying that input like... Uh, when I say a machine, it makes me sound like I'm a bit cold and calculated. I don't mean that. But I think what happened last year is I got in my own way a lot. Everything felt very emotional to me. And when I felt really emotional, uh, I didn't want to do some of the things. So I didn't do them. And of course, I'm sure it affected my business as well. So consistently um, doing things and not that sporadic intensity. It doesn't work for me. Also, it doesn't need to be that way. I can work from anywhere, as I've mentioned, and I can always show up online for 10 minutes you know, I'm not going down a mine. So there are people with way harder jobs and I'm just going to get it in perspective, grounded, um, doing what I can imperfectly with compassion. Number nine, open and close. I am not only looking at my own input as in when am I open and when am I closed? So really making sure that the time that I'm working, I am focused, I am doing what I need to do. And then those moments when I am closed, I am doing something else. I'm off technology if possible, although I do love to watch the telly and I've actually got some telly goals as well. Um, I, I want to really be clear on those things for myself. Also, in terms of input, I'm also thinking about my customer, my potential client. 
and how I can continue to support them when I'm open and also when I'm closed. So in terms of input, really thinking about how I can build that portfolio of content, how I can take care of people, the systems that I'm putting in place. So every sort of um, touchstone of the customer journey is taken care of. So they're looked after and I'm not feeling like I have to be on the whole time. And number 10, in terms of input, you might be surprised by these last two things. I've written inspiration and restoration. So I want, um, I want to be inspired. So this is kind of con like all connected with like getting out and about more. I love being inspired everywhere. And I'm not one of these people who just learns a formula from another coach and then regurgitates it. Um, I always found that with acting as well. Like I don't think I'm your typical actor. I definitely think like there's some actors that have a, a certain look or feel or, or tone or you can just tell when they're in a room. And I, I really don't think that I, I do that. You know, I love pulling inspiration from all kinds of different things. And so that's what I want to do more this year. I want to get out and about in the world and explore. And I know that that will help my input in terms of content and what I can deliver and how I can support the work that I do. And finally, as well in that, I want to really restore myself. After having many, many years of very little sleep with small children, I am really hoping we are, have <laughs> definitely opened this new chapter of um, being able to gather back a little bit of time to take care of myself, to rest, to reconnect with myself, to do things for myself, whether that's sleep or... Um, I don't know, go to a yoga class or read a book or see a friend or go to the pub on a Saturday lunchtime and say to my kids, you know, you're with granny and grandpa today and mommy's going out for, you know, I want to do all of those things as well. I know that ultimately those last two things in terms of input, they're not just about ticking boxes, they're about feeding my soul and that's where I'm going in 2024. If you want a business strategy, if you want to focus on where you're going and really making your work work for you, working smarter, working in a more aligned way with your personality, your circumstances and your individual goals, go to my work with me page or my shop. Um, I have one on one options. I have digital options and you can get started straight away. Lots of love and happy new year. I am so excited for 2024 and to help you along the way. Lots of love. Bye.